Hello, welcome to CSC Sports. I'm your host, Jay Howard, and I have with me, you already know, the best co-host in the land, Jerron Bland. Jerron, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. What's up, Jay? How you doing? I'm good. I want to talk about my man, former St. Louis Cardinal Albert Pujols. That's right. And believe it or not, I'm from Chicago, but I love the St. Louis Cardinals, and I love the Chicago White Sox. It sounds crazy, but... Ask anybody about me. I'm the guy to make the viral video when the St. Louis Cardinals won. Take a clip. Look at this. Look at this clip behind you. That's right. That was me. I did that after St. Louis won. I made some bold predictions about the Patriots and the San Antonio Spurs. This video was made absolutely right after the World Series when St. Louis won. So my predictions are still lingering, some of them. So anyway, moving on. What's up, Jerron, with Pujols, with this one homer finally? Why he only have one home run up to this date? I don't know. I think he's uh, taking him a little bit more time than I thought to get used to his new team, a new league. But uh, I still think people are making a little bit too big of a deal out of it. I mean, you look at his track record. He didn't have slow starts before, so I think that he don't end up with the numbers that he's used to putting up. So I think people need to just lay off of him a little bit. Dimensions have a lot to do with um, players, too. When players go to different ballparks, the dimensions of the ballpark have a lot to do with that. But Pujols wasn't really hitting the ball. And, that's and you, you know, that has a lot to do with it. He's a, he's a good hitter overall. So I was kind of shocked myself, to be honest with you. I was real shocked that Pujols wasn't hitting the ball. But it's only like a month and a couple of days. You know what I mean? So I, I'm going to give it some time. But it is kind of, it's a little karma in there too, I think. Just a little bit. Because I don't know if the Angels the team to beat in the AL. i tell you who right now is the team to beat, it seems like, up to this point, is the Baltimore Orioles. Have you been watching Baltimore? Yeah, I see that they off to a real nice start. They, they uh, I think, tied for first place with Tampa Bay in their division right now. So, watch your watch. You got them young kids playing well right now. Yes, with Marquez, Jones, Weeder, and Davis, and Hamill. They got some pieces over there for the future. And I'm going to be honest with you. If you go out to 1969 and 68 in the late 60s, early 70s, Baltimore was the team to beat like they was in the, in the late 90s. Do you think Baltimore are are they um, contenders or pretenders? Which one do you think from this point right now? I think, I think they still pretenders. I still think that they don't have enough on the pitching side to, to keep this up. I like their offense, but they, they pitching is some sort of suspect to me, so I don't think they can keep it up all year. Yeah, one thing they do have, and I tell people this all the time, the Yankees in Boston are going to fall, and they're going to fall hard. Boston not going to fall as hard as the Yankees. The Yankees have been mortgaging, mortgaging off their youth by getting all these so-called superstars that give them two good years and they fall off the map. They don't have nothing in their farm system. And the um, uh, Tampa and Baltimore and the Blue Jays are going to take over that division. I guarantee you. You're going to see the Yankees look like the, the Yankees of the 1980s. I don't know if you remember the Yankees of the 80s, but they had some talent, but they couldn't win. They was, they was just flat out terrible. And that's what's going to happen now. Let me ask you a question. We're going to move over to that West, that AL West. My man Josh Hamilton hit four home runs. What's with that? Is, is, is it Josh or is it is this, is Josh really that good? Oh, yeah, he's a beast. He's a flat-out beast. So, uh, I mean, it's not surprising to see him hit the four home runs. He's got that kind of talent. The only question with him is uh, can he stay healthy and can he uh, stay sober? And if he, if he does that, he's probably the best player in the league in terms of pure skill, or at least in the AL. Yeah, I would say he's the best pure baseball player. He's a Daryl Strawberry with, with on steroids. I didn't mean to call him saying he's on. It sounds crazy saying what I just said, but you, when we say steroids, now let me clear this up. When we say steroids, sometimes people that's watching, we say this like as a joke, like he's big, he's on steroids. I'm not saying Josh is on steroids. But he's bigger than Daryl Strawberry, so you know what I mean. I'm just trying to clear it up. I don't want to put the rumors out there. But do you know what I mean, Jerron? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, to me, he's a freak like um, Daryl Strawberry, and he has that Rafael Palmero type fluidity with his swing, too. What do you think Josh is going to finish with if he's healthy? Homers. He's healthy. I, I think he can get that triple crown. I think he can bet, like, 
Yeah, I, I think he can finish. So I don't think he can get triple crown, but I think he'll hit somewhere in that ballpark. Let's move on to Money Mayweather. Did you see the fight Saturday? Oh, uh, yeah, I saw it. That was a great fight. Is Floyd the real deal, man? Can anybody on this planet beat him, or do we have to build a robot to fight him? Which one is it? <laughs> I, think, I think he can be beat. I mean, even though the judges had the, the fight scored. Um, I, I think 118, 110, 117, 111, if they were Mayweather, I think that fight was closer to that. Cotto had, he fought a nice fight. I think he, he hurt Mayweather a little bit, so I think that uh, he showed that Mayweather is not invincible, and if he runs into the right person, he can go down. And what's funny is that Mayweather respects him so much out of all the fighters Mayweather, you know, he's a talker. But he has so much respect for Cotto, and I think that's one guy, you know, boxing is not like football, baseball, basketball, I think the fans would love to see him fight him two or three more times in his career. I think I think it was a great fight, and I think that's probably the best fight Floyd done had far as somebody competing and really putting their hands on the guy. The guy is unhittable. You know what I mean? He's virtually unhittable. Let's move on to the New Orleans Saints and this bounty gate. Do you think Roger Goodell overdid it with what he did to Jonathan Velma? I mean, the, the Saints pretty much lied to his face. He gave them multiple times to admit what was going on, and they kept denying it and lying. And the NFL had them on tape. They had a bunch of evidence against him, so he wanted to send a strong message. So I think he overreacted, but I can sort of understand where you're coming from. Yeah, people got to realize something. I remember when Pac-Man got in trouble in Tank for Chicago for the Chicago Bears. I remember a lot of blacks were saying, Roger Goodell is racist. He's just too hard on people. And then when he came out and he was slamming other people like Big Ben and other people, you know, he was slamming everybody. If you got in trouble, you got slammed by Roger Goodell. I think Roger Goodell is doing a great job because I am tired of one of seeing Afro-Americans every year getting caught with guns, doing something stupid and getting suspended and taking his job for granted. And I hate the fact that it's getting to the point now where you see players trying to ruin other players' careers. You know what I mean? It's it's not that serious to win a Super Bowl. You know what I mean? I don't think it's that serious. So I really take my head off to Roger Goodell for doing what he's doing, and I don't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem with what Roger Goodell is doing, and I think that he got to continue to keep his foot down on anybody that's breaking the rules or breaking the laws or even trying to bend them. Let's move on to that man in L.A., Matt Kemp. What about Matt Kemp? Is Matt Kemp the real deal? Oh, definitely. He he having a, a Josh Hamilton type year. I mean, I think he leading the league, the NL at least, in bad average, home runs, RBIs, and he actually got the Dodgers playing pretty well. Nobody expected them to do much this year, but the combination of Kemp and uh, they pitching Kershaw doing his thing again, they actually uh, competing for the division right now. I think they're in first place right now. Man, you know what's so funny? I remember with uh, Ethier and all those guys. And they had James Loney. They had um, the back catcher. Oh my God! What was the back catcher? He went to the Yankees last year. Uh, Buster Martin. Buster Martin. Uh, uh, what's his name again? Russell Martin. Yeah, Russell Martin. I said Buster Martin. Now I forgot about him. Is he still in the league? Yeah, he's still. Uh, I think he's still the, with the Yankees. Uh, splitting time right yeah, now. Yeah, he's splitting time. Show sure is. Well, Russell Martin, I said they did the right thing at that time by bringing up all that youth and finally, you know, letting it stay without mortgaging it off. And that's what happened. They, they're they hanging in there. You know what I mean? The Chicago Cubs are trying to do the same thing. I'm not a Cubs fan. I hate the Cubs. Real talk. I hate the Cubs. Yes, Jay Howard hate the Cubs. I can't stand them. Real talk. I can't. And I'm kind of glad, though, you know, that the Cubs and teams like um, the Dodgers family – are willing to not just spend money on outside guys, but create your own superstars. And I think they are doing a great job with Kemp and those guys by creating their own superstars the same way St. Louis have been doing and winning in Philadelphia. So I take my head off to Matt Kemp and the Dodgers. I hope they can make some noise. I don't want them to beat the Cardinals, but I hope they can make some noise in that West. So 
For my man, Jerron Bland, the best calls in the land, I am Jay Howard. This is CSC Sports. If you want to watch more about CSC Sports, go to www.cscsportswithjhoward.com. And also, check out my NBA Live videos. I want to thank the guys on YouTube that's been watching the NBA Live 13 videos that I've been putting out there. Man, I be so busy, I don't have time to thank you guys. Well, I want to thank you guys right now. Continue to watch those videos. EA Sports is starting to get the message about Jay Howard and the passion Jay Howard has for the NBA Live series. And I also want to tell you guys that one of the ideas that I posted about the NBA Live 13, I think it was on my first video when I talked about going to commercials. Well, the new Madden, that's right, the new Madden and the college football going to have those same cutscenes added.